achieved with CryEngine.
this, Gus? He was all like, what the fuck? Damn, bam! I saw it. Where are you going, huh? Fucking spy, fucking traitor, trying to sell us out to the Norks for a handful of rice, yeah? Let's teach him a lesson. I'll go first. Easy, Bakes. Dana said we caught anyone, we gotta tell her first. You don't want to piss her off, do you? Well, I just hope she leaves a piece for me. I wouldn't count on it. I don't think I'll be seeing you again. <laughs> Heavy fuck, huh? Be a bit lighter once Dana's finished with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hello down there. I'm Dana. And you are... Mr. Spy. You and I... We're gonna play a game. You're gonna tell me what the Norks know about us. And I'm gonna hurt you... while you do it. This game will be a lot more fun for me than you, I'm afraid. The question is... Will it be quick? Or will it be... Really, really slow. Just scream as loud as you want, okay? No need to suffer in silence. Okay. Nipples first, I think. Hey, Dana. I hear we got company. Who is he? Ah, uh, just another spy. Can I ask him a few questions? How do you know he's a spy? Well, that's what Baker and Skizari said. Those two? Dana, they're dumb as shit. You got anything on him? Say, pal. Got some ID. What you got here? Ethan Brady. I knew it. Walker's message said he was coming in with this guy. Well, no one told me. Yeah, well, if I could ever find you when I need you. Mm -hmm. You'd only just joined Harvey's crew, right? I'm sorry about what happened, but you survived. We could use a guy like you. I'm Jack Parrish, by the way. This is Doc Sam Burnett, and, uh... Ain't no more you met. No hard feelings, I hope. You're a lucky boy. You okay, kid? Looks like some head trauma. Possible concussion. I got some pills you should take. Hey, Doc, you don't need doping up. He needs to keep his focus. Head injuries can be unpredictable. You feeling confused, kid? Disconnected? He's fine, Doc. You know what's real, don't you, Brady? Looks like he's been through a lot. Last thing he needs is more trouble. Can't you fix him up a new ID and let him go? It's not that easy, Doc. You saw the screens. The Norks want this guy bad. Besides, we need people like him. He ain't afraid to take a chance. And he's seen too much already. Yeah. So, what do you say, Brady? You're gonna stick with us, huh? It ain't gonna be glamorous. And you're probably gonna die. Ah! Speeches like that! I'm amazed we haven't won the war already. Yeah, well, that's why we need Walker. Our words ain't my specialty. So, any objections to Brady joining us? Yeah. No? Sweet. Well, if no one's gonna listen to me, I'll be getting back to my work. Good luck, kid. So long, Doc. All right. As soon as we get word where they're holding Walker, we gotta find a way to bust them out. Everything depends on him. But first things first, we're gonna get you trained up and show you how we do things around here. I'm heading out. Got that transceiver to take care of. See ya. Walk with me. Well, it's good you came along when you did, Brady. Walker must have seen potential in you. Hey, Brady, come on, over here. Come on, Brady.
Hey, can't you see me here? Narks, don't, don't mess with me, buddy. We're making a difference out there. I have to believe that. We don't need attitude here, fella. You gotta keep the anger for out there, bud. We need more people like you. People willing to join the uprising. Now, that's what it's all about now. You gotta stir the people up, and soon enough we'll be snowballing. Get the whole city behind us, and the Norks won't stand a chance. The walker's a spark. People will follow him. We gotta get him back. Uh, we've been down here for a few months now. This is all part of the Broad Street subway extension that was mothballed back in 21 when the city ran out of money. It's not on any of the pre-war maps, so the Norks don't know about it. And here you have it, Brady. This is the boot that's gonna kick the KPA's ass. Come on over here. But first things first, let's get some American steel in your hands. Make every bullet count. This is, uh, Sidney Cook. He runs the armory. Five Brady, years ago, I was wasting away behind a desk. Now look at me. Together some more IEDs. Hey Brady, come here. We ain't gonna die today. Who's this? That's Ethan Brady. He was helping Walker. Walker got arrested. Yeah, but that wasn't Brady's fault. Don't worry about Cookie here. He's uh, generally in a pissed off mood. But he's a genius in improvising weapons, and that's why we keep him around. Ain't that right, Cookie? Always cooking up something new. <laughs> One day you're gonna make that joke and I'll shoot you dead. Then we'll see who's laughing, huh? Sidney, take it easy, will you? Brady needs a weapon. What can you spare? You can have... This. If it turns out you show some aptitude, then we can talk about upgrading. Yeah, Brady, pick up your weapon. I like it. I say we go. I don't know. You ready to fight down? I know you're thinking a pistol won't do much. But with one of Cookie's special conversion kits, suddenly you got yourself an SMG. Time means everything. There you go. Now try converting your pistol. Charmer. See you around, Sid. Parrish, we're still waiting on that transceiver intel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. More's on it. Say hey to Brady. He's a new recruit. The resistance is more than just frontline troops. It's people helping the best they can. Take Doc Burnett. He's a good example. That's not gonna win this war, though. Top line is, we gotta build up our strength by expanding our red zone operations. We keep ambushing and raiding. That weakens the Norks and strengthens us. Eventually, we'll turn the tables. And in the yellow zones, we're fighting for the hearts and minds of the people trapped there. We give them the belief that we can win. When Walker gives the call, they'll rise up. Excuse me. Hey, watch yourself. 
Save it for the Norks. Good to see you. Come on, Brady. Okay, I want you to head to the Red Zone. Dana will teach you how we operate. Out there, she's the best in the business. Just try not to piss her off, huh? Show me I'm right to trust you, okay? You don't want to go out there unprepared. You should take some Molotovs. Hey, Lorna, help the new guy out. Be best if you learn how to make your own. Grab some ingredients and give it a try. Okay, now just put it all together. Try making one. Give it a try. There you go, nice one. Okay, now you're set. Molotovs are great against their soldiers, but they don't do shit to drones or vehicles. So watch out for those. Elm trees down here. Good luck out there. Dana, this is Parrish. I'm sending you Brady. He can help you hit the KPA transceiver. Make sure you get the coordinates of every KPA operation in the area. Dana here. Understood. We'll get you those locations. As soon as we can reach the KPA transceiver, we'll download the data. Shit, Dana. We got a patrol. They must have switched routes overnight. You got any ideas? No time to go around. Let's hit him. once you trained, and I guess I owe you for before, so you get to learn from the best. Just try not to screw things up. New plan. We're ambushing this patrol. Brady, best if you go with G-Man. Just do what he says. Try not to die. Come on, buddy, this way. And yeah, try not to die. Alpha, you got anything? Give me a second. Okay, yeah, Dana, there's barrel traps on Elm Tree Avenue just ahead.
This is Isaac. We're flapping the breeze here. Where are you guys? Isaac, we hit trouble. Be better if we split up. Everyone head for a transceiver. With luck, some of us will find a way through. Brady, I've uploaded a transceiver location to your phone. We'll try for the others. Good luck.
That warehouse contains a KP-8 transceiver. Acquiring access to it may grant us intel about the nearby stronghold and other KPA operations in the zone. Hey, pass a friend. Make every bullet count. Brady, it's more. You managed to get to the transceiver. I'm impressed. We'll put that intel to good use. I guess Parrish was right about you. I'm gonna follow up a possible walker sighting. You should familiarize yourself with our operation. We have our main weapons store hidden inside this district. It's run by Ned Sharp. You should head over there. Introduce yourself. I'm uploading the location to your phone now. I'll see you around, Brady. This is Billy Alpha. All available teams. Listen up. We got Walker. We're gonna get him back. Bet your ass we are. I want everybody's eyes and ears wide open. Onward. Any sub-micro speck of information about where they've taken them, you report in. Everybody got that? Loud and clear. On it. You got it. Brady, these strongholds are imposing, but we think we figured out some ways to get inside. Identified a structural weakness around the large air vents. Put a bomb on that and blow open a roof. Some people have suggested jumping a bike right over the walls, although I think you'd have to be crazy to try that. tough fight, so make sure you're ready before you take one on, okay? Good luck, Brady. Andy, this is Billy Alpha. Where are you at? Supply run in Elm Tree for Ned. You got something? Parrish wants all available teams on Walker's scent. Top right on. I hear ya. As soon as we nail the supply truck, we'll head back. Watch yourself, Brady. That apartment building has a KPA sniper nest covering the route towards the nearby stronghold. If you can take them out, we'll have a great vantage point for further expansion of the zone.
future. We cannot afford to lose six guys. We're stretched already. Helen says there's no trace there. What the hell has happened to him? Oh, you Brady? More called. Said you might show up. Lucky for me, you did. I got a patrol gone missing, and I could use your help. Just, just wait a second. Get a hold of Connor. See if he's checked out the coastline. Maybe they got themselves lost or broken down. If he's free, tell him to grab a bike and, and, and go take a look. Sorry, Brady. I'm Ned Sharp, by the way. I run the armory here. But like I'm saying, I've lost a patrol. They were following up a report that Walker was being moved. They said they had a convoy in sight, then their transmission stopped. Any information on Walker is vital. We gotta find out what's happened to them. I got people out looking, but there's a lot of ground to cover. I need you out there helping the search. Keep trying to raise them. Could be something blocking their radio. Ned, I'm doing my best. I told Andy he was getting too cocky. Why can't people be careful? We don't do it now, we don't do it here. This is gonna work. Everything's so fast. Hey, new guy. If you're gonna look for Andy's patrol, you better be prepared for trouble. Got some pipe bombs here. They work on vehicles as well as soldiers. Gives you a chance against those damn APCs. Was the travel in my 20s. Not to fight an impressive foreign invader. Hey, take it easy. Why haven't they checked in? Set up a listening outpost in the wreckage of the Finstock warehouse. We cannot allow the Norks to listen in on our communications or let them pinpoint where we're storing our munitions. Get in there and take it out.
Taking out that listening post will prevent the KPA from pinpointing our locations within the zone and make our movements harder to track. Five Nicely years done. Ago, I was wasting away. Just say the word. Billy Alpha, this is Tony. Go ahead, Tone. We lost the vehicle transporting Walker. Gonna try and pick up the trail again. Fuck. Okay. Any sign you let us know. Let's do this. Paris says he wants some hard info ASAP. You got it.
Looks like our intel was accurate. Those weapons will be very useful. I'll make sure they're distributed amongst our people. Nice find, Brady. Philly Alpha, this is Tony. You there? What's up, Tone? Harv and his crew. What happened? They were the pickup crew, right? Harv didn't make it. Mary? No. Motherfuckers. One of Harv's crew, a new guy called Brady. He survived. Helped walk up from what I heard. Yeah, I remember Harv mentioned his name. <laughs> Remind me to buy him a drink when I'm back. found a stash of a cell trap inside. Anyone nearby, they need help fast.
He's got a lot on his plate. About time. Got this area locked down. and loaded. Shit, shit, where are they? Copy that. Ah! Yes, 
You doing okay? Taking the Hawks could have used the dry dock to bring in plenty of supplies hey, and reinforcements. Capturing it was a huge win for us. Good job. Take some good 